Three Colors White is a film by Krzysztof Kieślowski made in 1994 that belongs to a trilogy of films under the name of Three Colors. It was a co-production, three films that were to embody the values of the French flag and also the values of French Revolution with white being equality. This is the so-called Polish part of the trilogy. It takes place in Poland and it has the main character uh, that is uh, Paul, played by Zbigniew Zamachowski, with supporting role by Jerzy Sztur, who, of course, we well remember from uh, Camera Buff, from Calm, and Zamachowski, we remember from uh, Decalogue 10. They actually both co-starred in Decalogue 10. The film, and this was perhaps the biggest surprise after the serious and mournful blue, is a comedy. Is a comedy played in bright colors, bright frame, uh, shot by Edward Kosinski, and it takes place in the new Poland of capitalism. That Poland that was only being born in seven days a week, Krzysztof Kieślowski's final documentary film, here is in sort of full blast mode. There, is business, there are ev businesses everywhere, and there is a question of what will become to the Polish soul, as it were, in those new economical circumstances. Kieślowski was really interested in the uh, theme of uh, cross-cultural boundaries in this film, so he presents a failed marriage between a Polish man and a French woman, played by Julie Delpy, as a sort of a metaphor, an ironic metaphor of a relationship with Western Europe that really went wrong. There is no true unity between Polish character and uh, Western European character, and it's interesting if you think about the whole career of Kieślowski and the way he entered Western cinema with Decalogue and short films, that he still has some skepticism about the possible of true love between the East and the West. The film is quite short, it has a brisk tempo, it has an almost crime story uh, element in it, and it features a wonderful central performance by Zbigniew Zamachowski, who plays a Polish barber who is this sort of mournful uh, Chaplinesque figure of a man lost in history, man lost in a funny place somewhere in Europe, a little bit like Jan Piszczek, the character of Bad Luck made by Andrzej Munk in the year 1960. He is, I think, truly a character close to Kieślowski's heart, as helpless, as gentle as Philip Mosch in 1979. He navigates the unsure waters of New Poland in 1994. The film won the main award at the Berlin Film Festival at the time and it served as a wonderful middle installment of the trilogy before the Cannes Film Festival premiere of Three Colors Red.